Hello class, this is Adam Ward, and I wanted to work tonight through um, problem 22.2 from your textbook. Um, this is to determine the oxygen concentration along a 10 kilometer reach of stream uh, flowing over a sludge bed that exerts a sediment oxygen demand. And so this is a problem of distributed deficit. Um, because it's a sediment oxygen demand, it's not a source of BOD to the stream, it's a source of deficit to the stream. Um, so the goal here is going to be to develop an oxygen profile in the X dimension, uh, which means we're going to need to know a deficit profile. So we'll need to know the deficit time series as we flow along there. We'll need inputs like reaeration coefficients, geometry of the stream, uh, and so forth. And so to solve this problem, uh, first I wanted to go through and identify what all of the variables are that were actually given. Uh, and in step one, we'll... Um, try to find Ka. And so we're going to first uh, apply Manning's equation as shown here. And we've got um, for the hydraulic radius, you'll recognize that the 50 times H is the cross-sectional area and the wetted perimeter is 50 plus 2H. And we can solve that problem for a stream depth of 0 0.279 meters. For our next step, uh, we'll actually calculate Ka. And so given the geometry of the stream, we can go to figure 20.7 and um, using that chart, find that we should be using the Owens-Gibbs formulation to estimate this. And so by plugging in the stream velocity in meters per second and the depth in meters, uh, we calculate Ka of 19.1 per day. From there, we can actually find the deficit in the problem. And so what I've written here is part of equation 22.15 in your textbook. So this is the total Streeter Phelps equation, and then we've simplified it because all we have is a distributed deficit. So there's no general solution um, piece here. There's no distributed BOD. Um, all we've got to worry about is distributed deficit, and I've already zeroed out photosynthesis and respiration. Now, to move forward, um, we'll change the distributed deficit as I wrote it above to an aerial rate. Um, so we're dividing it by the depth of the stream and of course we can recognize time can also be expressed as distance divided by velocity. And so making those substitutions and plugging in the values that were given, I get an equation that looks like this. Uh, one important point to note here is that stream velocity I've gone ahead and calculated in meters per day. That's just a conversion from the given meters per second to keep our units homogeneous through the equation. And given an equation for deficit, um, of course we can remember that oxygen levels are saturation level minus deficit, or 8 grams per cubic meter that we're given, minus the deficit equation that is um, calculated and boxed in orange. So you can take this, uh, you can set up a quick spreadsheet in Excel and just drag that formula down um, over space, and if you do so, you'll get an example. You'll get a solution. Excuse me, that looks something like this. Um, but notably, I used um, the wrong formula when I calculated Ka in this problem. I had accidentally used the Churchill equation and had a Ka of 8.47. And of course, you all would have correctly used the Owens-Gibbs formulation and gotten 19.1 per day. And so, with a faster reaeration coefficient, we expect higher oxygen levels. And so the true solution should look something like this. Uh, you should be calculating solutions that are higher um, in oxygen content than what I've shown you on this slide. Uh, my apologies for the mistake, uh, but at least it gives us the chance to learn about KAs. Um, as an extension of this problem, you could imagine that you were given possibly a different temperature stream and needed to correct, um, or that you had some additional source of either deficit or BOD to the stream channel, um, be that point or distributed, um, or perhaps you could consider this problem when you also wanted to estimate BOD levels um, along the same 10 kilometers for a potential point source at, say, zero meters. And so those are all ways you could continue to practice um, in preparation for uh, any quizzes or exams. Uh, I hope this helps you see how to apply uh, at least our deficit equation and deal with distributed deficit problems. Thank you.